Whoa, this is the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. It's four o'clock in the morning here. I'm leaving headquarters. Gonna go try to find some sizable surf a couple hours up the coast this fine morning. So we're going on an adventure. Yeah. One thing that's vital for this mission, the meat wagon. Ugh. Yes. Actually have to bring a substantial board for this mission. Kind of fired up about it, dude. When the meat wagon comes out, man, it means it's winter time and it's time to start surfing, man. Oh, the magic slipper. The magic slipper. Oh, uh, we got lines. Those are lines. Mm, yep, we got surf. Oh! 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 Ah, it's killer. Sats out there. I rode my 6'6 until I just got fully cleaned up and destroyed a minute ago. Gurgled the whole thing, and I'm like, ah, I need to get my step up, dude. I gotta get this, the meat wagon out. It's meat wagon time. There's some nugs out there. Can we see that? I don't think you can zoom in on this way. <sighs> So fired up, it's solid, thick ocean swell, double overhead out there. Pretty fired up. Some of the boys came out that I know, dude. Their leash is snapped, leash plugs ripped out. It's full one of those sessions, dude. Gotta trust your equipment, baby. The meat wagon, 7-2, rounded pin. The Chilean magic slipper, 6-4, rounded pin, three inches thick. 
handling it today. Handling it. So epic. Thought I was gonna drown once or twice, which is a nice feeling. First substantial surf of this winter season. Pretty fired up about it. Always nice to know you can survive and get waves and persevere. A couple times I didn't think I was gonna be able to make the paddle out because it was just so consistent and pounding and solid double overhead, solid 15 foot faces, man. A little bit bigger on the cleanup sets. The meat wagon was handling, and so does this. This board's the super magic slipper. This one handles it when it's big. This thing goes anywhere, anytime. Tim Ryan, he's my boy. He's been shaping boards for a long time, dude. He's an artisan, and those are masterpieces. I've had that board for 12 years at least. I've had this board solid three years. Just took on anything Chili had to offer. Well, that's it, man. The surfing dream is alive and well. Oh boy. What a session, man. You know, I haven't surfed in about a month because it's been flat. And of course, it's like solid 15 foot faces, bigger on the cleanup sets. I paddled out this morning, man, through the, the riptide closeout section. And uh, I make, I'm almost out there, dude. I like, I'm almost out there. And all of a sudden, a giant set comes. And it just caught me. I'm duck diving through. It just caught me, pulled me back, sucked me under. Then I just three more on top of my head, dude. I got the fear for a second. First thing in the morning, it was like 7.15 in the morning. I'm already gurgling, dude. I'm like, oh my God, dude. Am I even going to make it out, dude? Oh, it's heavy. No one's really around. There's like three other guys in the water. I pull it off, I get out there. I was so adrenaline, you know? Cause the fear, dude, nothing like dr almost drowning first thing in the morning. And uh, so I had the fear and it took like the adrenaline, it took the adrenaline to wear down for like, you know, half an hour. And then I had to break the spell cause it was kind of sizable out there, like thick ocean swell. Not just like weak little dumpy waves, like full ocean. And uh, then I started surfing, dude. Got cleaned up a couple times, got a bunch of waves. And then uh, I got smoked by the set. <laughs> Same thing. I'm just, I'm just duck diving through the, this big, huge triple overhead wave, full massive cleanup set. And uh, I just, just getting through and it just grabbed me and sucked me back over the falls. That one really gurgled me and it kept me down deep. I had to climb my leash to get out, get up. And then I pop up and I literally just get, <gasps> Got some water in my mouth and another huge set just landed right on my head. Just blew me apart. And then like five more on top of my head, dude. The whole time I'm just like ah, 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 choking. And then uh, I went in, got my, got the meat wagon. Got the meat wagon, was shot by then, paddled up, barely made it out. Got this full, but got some sets. And then like three waves into that, the meat wagon session. I got this full set wave, late drop, I'm ripping, I'm going past this section of white water, and all of a sudden I feel like, like someone tackled me, and I got slammed by like a hundred pound ball of kelp, and it just tangled up my leash, and I was getting beat down, it was super dangerous, sketchy vibe, I had to undo my leash, pull it through the whole thing, I went in, 
had some lunch, paddled back out, scored a bunch more waves. Like, I'm done, dude. And there's nobody out, and the surf's still going off, dude. It's pretty radical out there right now. Kind of amazing. Kind of amazing, dude. Pretty fired up about it. Like, boom, dude. Anytime I get the meat wagon out, it's on. Ah, I love the meat wagon. Ooh, me and the meat wagon.